These are the students' quarters. To better help you supervise them, you also have a room here. Your room is here at the end. Commoner students also reside on the first floor, while the second is primarily for students of noble birth. As a rule, we try to avoid discrimination based on social status here, but the nobility can be quite insistent when it comes to matters of propriety. Speaking of, it would be best for you to avoid improper conduct. I expect you to set a good example for the students. I'm not too keen on the professor of my class. I really hope to focus more on strategy. Hmm. Maybe I should talk to my professor about transferring to a different class. Yes. I hear there will be a mock battle soon. We must not neglect our training. I trust that you will carefully study the strengths and weaknesses of each of your students, that you may provide effective guidance. Regardless of the results, this battle will be a great learning experience. Even so, what is the point of competition if the aim isn't to win? As this is your first time at the monastery, please allow me to show you the ropes. Both students and teachers of the Officers Academy are free to use the facilities within the monastery. For example, you can dine with others at the dining hall or partake in one-on-one -on -one combat at the training grounds. I encourage you to wander around the monastery and lend an ear to the people living here. There are bulletin boards in various places around the monastery. Have you seen them, Professor? There you can find requests from various sources, as well as information about the market. If you fulfill these requests, you should eventually be able to use even more of the facilities here. The bulletin board gets updated frequently. You would do well to check it once a month. This probably goes without saying, but no matter which facility you use, it will take up a considerable amount of your time. It's helpful to plan out activities in advance, so that you don't mistakenly squander your time here. Professors at the Officers Academy are expected to have exceptional leadership skills. Students and teachers alike must devote themselves to their studies and strive to acquire great wisdom even outside their respective fields. His Highness has said that he trusts you, and I have no cause for doubt. But if you mistreat him in any way, I will take action. I have a request. Hey, Teach, I hear there's going to be a mock battle between the houses. I'm not going to lie, I'm a bit concerned about facing an elite mercenary like you. Maybe take it easy on us. What do you say? Oh, Professor, have you adjusted to life at the Academy yet? Me? I'm still not used to it. I'm not one for all this studying and training. What the? Captain Gerald's first and best apprentice. I can beat anyone, Professor. Even you, if I have to. It may have been only for a short time, but I learned from the absolute best. Um, I, uh, was just heading back to my room. Bye! Professor? Hey, Professor. If you got spare time, wanna join me for a trip into town? We could try to pick up beautiful girls. Or not. I'm kidding. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> professor, I've got a small favor to ask.
<sighs> the great tree moon is the best time of the year for naps. I could just forget all about my assignment. Yeah. My thanks. Maybe. Dear Goddess. Goddess, I pray to thee. Please protect us. here myself. My brother would not be pleased if he heard you saying such things. The monastery is kind enough to provide a sanctuary for my brother and I. He's the only family I have. Might you help me with a favor? Today's dish was so good. Oh, but not as good as your homemade sweets, Mercy. <laughs> You're too kind. Maybe I'll bake some for you next time, Professor. I knew I could count on you.
helped me so much. Here at the monastery, I have had many great learnings from many great people. I am hopeful to have learnings from you, too. As forever, I will do my best trying. Hi. Yes, I'm busy. Do you want something? I can't right now, but let's fight soon. I look forward to beating you. Ugh, I really need to eat. I can't hold out until the next meal. Why can't the dining hall stay open all the time? I need to keep eating if I want to get stronger. Much appreciated. It's finally time for the mock battle. I'm eager to put my skills to use. And you, Professor? Excellent. I have high expectations for your command. That said, I've no doubt it will take everything we've got to pull a victory. Our opponents are mighty, that much is certain. But I'm positive we can win. Hey there, did we miss our invite to this strategy meeting? No, oh, no worries. We'll just join in now. Nice try, Claude. But I do not intend to let slip our strategies. Especially when we are up against such strong opponents as you two. Well now, kind words for Miss Kingliness. If that's the case, we'd better come up with some clever schemes so as not to disappoint. Right, Princess? Right. No matter the tactics you devise, we will destroy you. The best you can hope for is to learn a thing or two. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with a friendly rivalry, but let's not get carried away. A rash attitude could be your undoing, after all. Hmm. Perhaps your time would be better spent preparing instead of worrying about the competition's mindset. Hey now, if you two were getting this fired up before the battle even starts, it'll make it that much easier for my class to sweep up a win. So please, carry on. <sighs> a good point, Claude. I apologize, that wasn't my intention. At any rate, Let's vow to make this a productive battle, shall we? Oh? In that case, I won't hold back. Oh, how precious! Looks like you and the students have become fast friends. While I am pleased that you are taking the initiative to acquaint yourself with the students, I'm afraid it's about time for the faculty strategy meeting. Ah, how time flies. In that case, I'll see you later. I look forward to assessing your abilities. I hope you don't disappoint.
It is about time for the battle to begin. Our victory depends on your leadership. Do not let us down. I'm sure you already understand, but the house that defeats the other two is declared the winner. Incidentally, I'll be overseeing this mock battle, so listen well if you want to win. Stay focused. I'll cut through. What should I do? I'll go. I'll give it my all. None of your shallow tactics are required, Claude. Ignatz and I will dismantle the opposition. Me? But I'm not ready. Are you making light of our new professor? If you drop your guard, you're gonna get hurt. Dorothea, will you head toward the front lines? I wish to draw the enemy toward us. You got it, Aidy. Leave it to me. Ferdinand, Hubert, if the enemy comes, stop them. Leave it to us. Although I could do this on my own. <laughs> Clearly not, or Her Highness would not ask me to watch your back. Sufficient. myself. Well done, Teach. I may have to take this seriously after all. Professor is quite a commander. Had to be done. two houses at once? <laughs> An impressive display of confidence. 
Victory is in sight, Black Eagles. Do not let up. Professor is rather strong. I suppose I'll have to call it a day. I must stay focused. Dimitri, it's time. We can finally settle the question of who's stronger. Very well. I accept your challenge. With you as my opponent, I won't hold anything back. I would expect no less. I must keep aiming hard. to retreat. Well, things will only get tougher from here on out. I am the son of House Iyer. How did I fail? I must need to train harder. Why am I even here?
I can still serve. Ouch! Was that really necessary? Luck wasn't with you. Not good enough. Someone with actual battle experience is... Well, I was as good as useless. You're weak. I have improved. Hey, you didn't compliment me like that when my class won last year. I'll do our part. Use caution. Oh! <sighs> well done. I nearly wound up a patient in my own infirmary. Is that all? Stronger, huh? I must have let my guard down. I guess that's a loss for the Golden Deer House. All right, that's that. The winner of this mock battle is... The Blue Lion House! This victory is the result of everyone's hard work. 
Thank you, my friends. You did well. Professor, I've been looking for you. I was hoping we could all share a meal together. It could serve as both a victory celebration and a post-battle analysis. What do you think? Of course. Why wouldn't you be? Come now, Professor. We can't very well celebrate without the key to our victory present. He's right. He really is. We were only able to win because we had your help, Professor. Yes. Compared with that boar who knows nothing save frontal attacks, your tactics were nearly decent. Felix, you really ought to stop picking fights with His Highness. Don't worry, Ingrid. I encourage all to speak freely. And I must agree that the Professor's tactics were truly extraordinary. I have much to learn. Oh, sure. But today was exhausting. I'm so hungry I can barely stand. To be honest, so am I. Let's head to the dining hall. Together. Professor, I'm sorry to intrude, but... You don't look too happy for someone who just won. You say that, but your eyes tell a different story. I know we only just met, so this may be difficult for you, but I'd love nothing more than to share our happiness with you. Joy can be so fleeting, after all. We're all in this together, so I hope you will consent. I'm sure the rest of the class feels the very same. Well, come along, Professor. Let's enjoy the fruits of our labor. Your work with the students was remarkable. I can see Geralt trained you well. I do hope you were able to use the occasion to bond with the students. I'm so happy to hear it. Nothing would please me more than if you used this coming year to grow closer still. Of course, the mock battle was mere practice. The real fight is the battle of the eagle and lion, which will take place during the wyvern moon. You are expected to properly train your students so as not to humiliate the Academy during the long-held tradition that is the coming battle. As for today, I have called you here to tell you of your mission for the month ahead. Your class is to dispose of some bandits causing trouble nearby. Those affiliated with Garrig Mach Monastery have a moral obligation to help those in need regardless of social standing. Students are no exception. Each month before the newly birthed moon departs, each house of students must complete their assigned mission. You shall work to complete the task at hand alongside your students and report back to the Archbishop before the deadline, understood. I will soon provide you with the necessary details for your first mission. If I told you now, I expect you would only forget and I despise repeating myself. I can sense something special within your heart. I have high hopes for you. Bandits, they say. Do you recall when we first met? You shall not fall so shamelessly again, correct? Have you no words for me? Do not tell me that you are shocked to hear from me! <laughs> you ought to know that I am always with you now. To hear my voice should not come as a shock. What is this nonsense? All I was told was to kill as many noble pipsqueaks as possible! No one said anything about the Knights of Damned Saros being on our trail! You have proven yourself worthless, distracted by something so trivial. 
I had hoped you would achieve your goal despite the setback. But now a child of the Knight's former captain is in play. How interesting. Hey, this isn't what I agreed to! Hiring a mercenary as a professor. What was that woman thinking? Are you listening to me? How do we finish this? You die. What? Underestimating the Knights was an amateur mistake. One you will pay for. The road to eternal torment awaits you all. Now I must locate your replacements. Wait! Get back here! Damn you! Part 1. White Clouds. Harpstring Moon. Familiar Scenery. In honor of the saints whose births or deaths took place under this moon, the people perform music once beloved by those divine beings. Whether by harp, by flute, or voice alone, Joyous melodies are shared between farmers as they sow their seeds across the vast plains of Teltine and Grander. As you have already been notified, your mission is to subdue some bandits. Our students have been learning about combat through study, but this is a precious opportunity to provide them with practical experience. The Knights will support your mission and are prepared to offer their assistance if necessary. In short, this is no mock battle. You must be prepared for anything. You will receive a message from the Knights when it is time to depart. Until then, Use your time wisely. This will be our first true battle. I'm looking forward to fighting alongside you, Professor. During the mock battle, your commands were thoughtful and thorough, as was your strategy. With you on our side, I'm confident we will prevail. It seems we have some time to spare before our departure. Let's use this opportunity to prepare as best we can. You seem well. Are you adjusting to life at the monastery? Oh, I didn't expect that answer. When we were mercenaries, I handled everything. Outside of battle, you didn't have much contact with people, did you? I thought being thrown into a swarm of noble brats to teach would be a bit much for you. But I guess I had nothing to worry about. By the way, I heard about those bandits. Your first assignment is to take them out, right? That's fairly routine for you by now, but don't forget it's the first real taste of battle for those brats. It'll be tougher to sleep at night if you let one of your little pupils die. So stay vigilant and lead them well. I wish I could offer you my support, but Lady Rhea won't allow it. For now, I'll try to figure out what she wants from you. I don't mind you settling into your life here, but don't let your guard down, ever.
Professor, hey, do you know how old Captain Gerald is? That's enough, Leone. If I don't know, how could my child know? It's not normal to forget your own age, you know. It's kind of worrisome, actually. By the time you're forgetting your own age, you're past the point of caring. I guess if you put it that way, you've got a point. I have a request. Do something for me. I've got to find out everyone's likes and dislikes so I know what to cook. Who knows when it'll be my turn at kitchen duty. How about you, Professor? Do you like sweet or spicy food? Spicy? Ooh, your tastes are so mature. I'll definitely remember that. Thanks to my adoptive father, Lenato, that a commoner like me is here at the Academy. He is the very model of chivalry. Someday, I'm going to be just like him. to have beaten us in the mock battle. Such a shame you aren't leading our class. Professor, that's sad. We have only just arrived at the Academy, and we're already being sent out to take care of bandits. It is a noble mission, but one that will likely require battle. In practice, there is little difference between a battle and a war. Even with the support of the Knights of Seros, we must still brace ourselves for the challenge. Do you have any other questions about life at the monastery? Or about battle? Just as students receive guidance from professors, professors may also guide each other. If you're interested, you should seek out Professor Hanneman or Professor Manuela. A student's house is determined by their place of origin, but naturally, each individual has their own aptitudes and interests. That said, if a student so desires and their current professor consents, they may transfer from one house to another. If you get to know the students better through the activities at the monastery, they may approach you about this. the Iyer family. We have long held the position of Prime Minister in the Empire. The Empire's power lies with six noble families, my family foremost among them. The full explanation may be time-consuming. I can give you a moment to get ready, if you would like to take notes. All right, I will list the six great noble families. There's Kaspar's father, Count Burgles, the Minister of Military Affairs. 
Then there's Linhart's father, Count Hevering, the Minister of Domestic Affairs. Bernadetta's father, Count Varley, is the Minister of Religious Affairs. Hubert's father, Marquis Vestra, is the Minister of the Imperial Household. Finally, we have Duke Gert, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, and my own father, Duke Eyre, the Prime Minister. One day, I will take his place as the Prime Minister of the Empire. I am more talented than anyone in my class, even Edelgard. I will lead the Empire to a bright, enlightened future. There is nothing I cannot achieve. Oh, Professor. Here to recruit me, I presume? Well, the eldest son of House Iyer will not be so easily swayed. Favor to ask. <laughs> the cathedral is nice and quiet. It's so relaxing. Oh, Professor, did you come to pray to the goddess? Me too. Shall we pray together? The cathedral is nice. Actually. So. Inside the cathedral, there is a chapel dedicated to the four saints. Do you know of them? Saint Indec, Saint Macuel, Saint Keyhole, and... Saint Sathleen! Who is your favorite, Professor? Now that you are a member of the church, be sure to familiarize yourself with our teachings and traditions. I have something to ask of you. There's something else. It is the duty of every Fodlan noble to demonstrate piety towards Seros. Have you also come to offer your prayers to the goddess, Professor? You don't sound terribly sure. Perhaps you are not of noble birth? After all, devotion is not as essential for a common. Even people from far-off lands gather here at the Academy. Word of advice, Professor. There are those who don't think kindly of such people. a sea of countless books, tracking down that single sought-after volume, it's absolute bliss. How do the poor fools who spend their days sharpening swords and polishing armor find any joy in life?
for my well it's it's like a pale blue cloth have you seen it uh, um okay for my my savior thank you down. Don't want people thinking I'm vying for attention, but how loud is too loud? Singing is so much fun. Everyone should enjoy themselves while they're doing it. <laughs> so, well done. You have my thanks. Thanks for your help. Lifesaver. Excuse me. Bye. <laughs> 
I enjoy cooking. You seem to know what you are doing. If you don't yet know the proper procedure for lectures, I will tell you all that I know. Assuming that's agreeable to you, of course. Before beginning a lecture, we would be most appreciative if you would first make note of our study goals. After all, everyone wishes to prioritize studying fields related to their goals, right? I believe you can ensure better results by instructing individuals based on their interests and specialties. Of course, that doesn't mean it's pointless to teach someone things unrelated to their goals. You never know if a student will develop an interest in something by overcoming their distaste for it. Everyone's study goals will likely change based on the experience they receive from future instruction or assignments. When that happens, it would be greatly beneficial if you could advise us as to what new goals we should set for ourselves. No matter how passionate you are about tutoring someone, it's difficult to get good results if that student lacks motivation. To increase a student's motivation, it's probably best to appeal to them in a variety of ways. If it's not too much trouble, I would be grateful if you would try to pay attention to everyone's motivation level. Students are encouraged to engage in various activities in and around the monastery. By working together, students can strengthen their relationships and, in time, achieve better results more readily. Have you heard? Certification exams are held every month at the Officers' Academy. To become a new class, one must first overcome the certification exam for that class. Needless to say, if one lacks the required abilities, passing will prove difficult. I hope that you will plan ahead for the certification exams and instruct everyone accordingly. This could be useful, maybe. It was nothing. Of course I got it. I need to butter me up. Quite 
quite intriguing. Th I have a question. I see. Let's get to work, shall we? I am a little worried. We did well enough. Thanks. Thanks. 